gabapentin uses side effects and patient education. Indications and Mechanism of Action Gabapentin is a generic name for Neurontin, a medication in the form of capsules and tablets that are used as a part of adjunctive therapy for patients with partial onset seizures. With the help of the chosen drug, adult patients, as well as patients older than three years, may control seizures of different types and avoid epilepsy in case it is regularly taken. Another important indication of gabapentin is to manage postherpetic neuralgia. This condition is characterized by pain persistence for more than three months and is associated with sleep disturbance and low back pain. Gabapentin is also used orally to relieve painful restless leg syndrome and decrease the possibility of complications because of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Tremors and nystagmus are health problems that may be solved or, at least, controlled by taking gabapentin three times daily. The mechanism of action of gabapentin is based on the analgesic and antiepileptic qualities of the drug. However, not many current studies can be found on this topic. Fornasari compares the mechanisms of action of gabapentin and pregabalin, focusing on alpha-2 delta-1 expression. Though the chosen drug has no direct connection to the work of the neurotransmitter Y-aminobutyric acid known as GABA, it has a property to strengthen the qualities of GABA. In addition, gabapentin can inhibit calcium channels by opening ionizing channels. Finally, the recent discovery proves the possibility of gabapentin to determine the work of certain voltage-dependent calcium channels as the main inhibitor of the alpha-2 delta-1 subunit. Still, it is recommended to continue researching gabapentin's mechanism of action and its role in GABA synthesis. Precautions and Contraindications Special attention is paid to the section on precautions and contradictions of gabapentin due to associated depression and possible suicidal thoughts. First of all, it is recommended to check the level of sensitivity to this drug and avoid using gabapentin in patients who demonstrate hypersensitivity to any of its components. Then, the analysis of emotional well-being cannot be neglected as it is a chance to understand what kind of reactions may be observed and what interventions should be offered. Anticonvulsants like gabapentin can promote the emergence of depression, as well as thoughts about self-harm and suicide. Unusual changes in mood and behavior have to be reported. Another significant precaution touches upon the patients who have renal problems or are on dialysis. This drug can considerably reduce renal function and develop serious renal impairment. Finally, it is recommended for pregnant women to avoid taking gabapentin because of the ear limitations that exclude neonates. Still, other authors support the idea of using gabapentin to avoid the complications of restless leg syndrome among pregnant women. This contradiction is a serious background to continue investigating the characteristics of gabapentin. Adverse Reactions even one dose of gabapentin can cause several side effects and change the health conditions of a patient. Among the most frequent adverse reactions, it is possible to identify the following, diarrhea, dizziness, dry mouth, drowsiness, and loss of coordination. Some patients may report that they start observing unpredictable tremors or eye movements. Abuse and addiction are outcomes that are hard to predict because much depends on the patient's history. All these reactions and outcomes have to be discussed with a doctor. Sleepiness is a side effect that prevents drivers from taking this drug unless they are hospitalized or stay at home for a while. Finally, as it has already been mentioned, gabapentin may increase suicidal thoughts and behaviors. Therefore, depression and behavioral changes should be defined as possible human reactions to this drug. Another adverse reaction like the development of adenocarcinoma, or cancer, cells is not approved by human studies but remains a serious research topic in the studies with rats. Patient education Patient education plays an important role in taking drugs and avoiding serious complications. It is not enough to inform a patient about the required doses and schedules. However, one should admit that overdosing is a problem some patients still face. As soon as adverse reactions are observed, or the patient suffers from breathing troubles and unpredictable changes, people should call 911 or address the nearest hospital. It is also necessary to discuss the worth of gabapentin and evaluate the expectations that have to be achieved. Patients have to be prepared for such conditions as depression, suicidal thoughts, 
and mood changes. If possible, family members or caregivers should observe the patient during the first day of taking the drug. Education must include an explanation of the possible outcomes of interactions between gabapentin and opioids, including the changes in the work of the central nervous system. Gabapentin may cause dependence, and patients have to learn how to control their treatment and avoid abuse complications. Communication with a psychologist is one of the possible solutions. To conclude, a number of treating properties of gabapentin cover its possible negative sides and adverse reactions, making this drug one of the best treatment options for patients with seizures and post-herpetic neuralgia.